Further to my previous video where I sort of said that I don't believe that antinatalism itself is uh, something that I'm opposed to, I want to make something else rather clear. I don't believe that antinatalism or even morbid antinatalism is nihilism. Nihilism is something, if you ask me, that is completely different. It's a total lack of belief in anything at all. Uh, not even solipsism, just take whatever your eyes tell you and run with it. Whatever the world is, whatever. Don't get any meaning out of it. Uh, nihilism is a very active philosophy, if you ask me. In fact, it uh, seems to put forward the idea that action is uh, the only thing that does matter. Nothing else matters but action. Morbid antinatalism, ethelism, I think are simply um, a very passive and depressing form of fatalism. The best that we can do in this world is to just sort of get out of it and don't perpetuate it. That is, I would call that a miserable philosophy, but it's not nihilism. Nihilism is uh, this. That is not a Nazi song, in spite of what some people might think. It's a soldier's song, uh, sung in German, and I think that there were definite elements of virulent nihilism in the German military of the Second World War, even though not all of the nihilists in the military were Nazis at all. Um, there were definitely people who didn't seem to believe in anything except war as an end in itself. This is a clip from a movie back from back in the 1960s, The Battle of the Bulge. And the people who follow nihilism don't actually have to be particularly evil people. Um, they're just people who think that action and adrenaline and um, going for something, regardless of what that something is, those are nihilists. Those are um, the ones who, uh, I think, deserve that moniker. Not antinatalists. Um, I don't even think that an ethelist could be called a nihilist. Just wanted to clear that up. Thank you.